G'day, my name's Dave and this is Gary and I'm here to talk to you about Clearview Fencing from PSP. Clearview Fencing meets brand standards and has many great applications but today I'm going to show you how to install a pull fence. Now the first thing you want to do is figure out how many posts and panels you're going to need. The easiest way of doing that is measuring out the length of your fence and dividing that number by 1010 millimeters. Now keep in mind what you also need to do is figure out where you're going to place your gate. Now the gate's in 900 millimeters, but what you want to do is also add on an extra 30 millimeters just for the hinges of the gate as well. Um, from there, we recommend using uh, Magnatex safety gate latch. One thing about this is that it really matches and suits the style of our fences, um, as well as being the number one child safety latch as well. Now each post comes with a base plate, two remov removable spigots, we have four glazing rubbers, a infill bar for the sides, and also we have a top cap as well. Now we have a bottom rail that will go through and you also have our panels that will go through as well. They make up the segments of our fence. So now that you know exactly how many posts you're going to use and where your gate's going to go, the next step is to string a line along the ground to show where the posts are going to go. The string line is going to indicate exactly where the base plates will line up but do make sure that your, that your line is further enough away from the deck. So now what you're going to do is take your first, uh, your first post uh, where your gate is going to be hinged and make sure that your base plate lines up against your string line there. But keep in mind that you want to make sure that uh, your string line is aligned with uh, where your panel is going to go. Make sure you don't do this. Some people have done it. Don't. Once you've gone and done that and lined that up nice and simply like so, all you need to do is just use a pencil or a vivid and just mark where your holes are going to go. Just like that. Now that you've got that, all you have to do is remove your post and you can drill on your marks. Pre-drill your holes. Now there are two different fixtures that you'd use depending on um, if you're drilling into, uh, fixing into timber or into concrete. Uh, here we're fixing into timber. Now, when fixing into uh, timber, you'd use a 125mm stainless steel poach bolt. Um, if, you're, if you're drilling into, uh, fixing into concrete, you'd use a dyna bolt. Do make sure to check with the manufacturer's instructions when dealing with concrete. Um, from there, now we're ready to uh, fix in our post. Now, the next thing you want to do is take your bottom bar, uh, your bottom rail, and fix it into your fixed post. take the second post there, fix that in as well, like so. Making sure that when you're lining up your post that it's in line with your string line as well. Once you've gone and done that, simply mark out the drill holes. Remove your bottom rail. Remove your post and then drill those holes again, just like you did in the last post. Just gotta make sure it's level at all times. Ready for the panel, Dave? So now we're ready to install our first panel. As you can see, Gary's already gone and fixed in our first post and our bottom rail there as well. He's also gone and trimmed uh, the edges off of the um, gasket there, um, just so that it fits in nice and, nice and perfectly, nice and flush. And finally, make sure that you're using the, uh, leaving the polished edge on top there when installing the panel. <sighs> Grab some lunch, eh? 9.30 in the morning, mate, is it? So now that your panels are in place, all you need to do is right. make sure you spray down your, your rubbers, help them go in. Thanks buddy. 
So as he's gone and done, just a little bit of soapy water, sprayed down the rubbers. Then what you want to do is take the red end of the rubbers and take them down the bottom. Always start from the bottom and slowly start to click your way back up. Just like so. Once you get to the top there, just trim off the excess and you pop your, uh, your um, top cap over the, over the top there to finish it off. You can use a chainsaw, but it's probably best to use simple scissors or something like that. Yeah. Now simply repeat the process installing your panels, your glazing rubbers and your top caps and the job's done. Now our Clearview gates come pre-assembled, but the uh, installation will vary depending on the um, latch and hinge systems that you use, so make sure to check with the manufacturers when installing. Uh, as you can see we have a corner post here for 90 degree angles. Uh, for any variation on those angles what you want to use is two end posts, leaving no more than 100 millimeters between those two posts. Well there you have it, that's how you install a fence using Clearview Fencing from PSP. Make sure to check out our website, uh, psp.co.nz, and make sure to take a look at our YouTube channel, which is PSP New Zealand. All that least now is for me and Gary to clean up. Anyway, take care guys, and we'll see you next time.